hear someone else's voice. Mm, I don't know. I don't hear anything. <laughs> You're hearing things. Weird. Maybe I'm hearing things. <laughs> I might not. Actually, I might turn off a virtual background. Um, I mean, uh, Airbnb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, show us how it looks like. Oh, your house looks this, better. There's nothing interesting, particularly interesting. It's got like a fake fireplace. Maybe this is more interesting. Oh, yeah. that's cool. <laughs> Angle a little better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just chatting. Again, so annoyed. <sighs> right, I, I guess. I can't see um... toys not working. <laughs> we are officially live. Let me share it. Hello. Hello, world. Could you guys hear that? Or is, is like Discord muted that? Didn't you hear anything? Oh, here you say hello? No. Oh, no, I don't you hear, hear that. That's right. Yeah. Man. Why? Yeah, we are officially live on Twitch and Facebook. I think you have to turn off your noise cancelling. I did. Gosh. Maybe on both Discord and your mic, I don't know. Ah, oh, anyway. <laughs> what, what instrument is that? O Ocarina? Today. Yeah. Can you play songs it on it? Uh, badly, yeah. <laughs> But it's like pretty high pitched, so it's not very pleasant to hear me practice at uh -huh. all. So that's why this Airbnb has been great for it, because I can just play as loud as I want, and you know, no. Wait, one are you hear. alone? Um, well, Johan's about to head out. Hope she hasn't already headed out. Oh, I don't know where she is. <laughs> uh, she's gonna go fishing right now. Okay, how come and you're not fishing? This house fishing? is like a detached house. Because I don't want to stand outside in the cold at 5.30 in the morning or 6 in the morning. Oh, it's like 5.30 now? Um, It's 6.09 now. Okay. That was pretty early. Yes. How I'm cold is it? I'm be inside with my fake fire. <laughs> does it do anything? Does it actually like radiate heat? At least? Um. Yes, it does. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, That's not so yeah, bad. Yeah, but, but it, I don't have it the heat part on right now because there's also another heater right above me right now that's more like, it's almost like an ac but mm -hmm. it's a heat okay yeah so this one has an ambient temperature control too it's pretty like neat mm. um anyway it's like uh what's up cornelius see, thanks for what tuning it is in. in celsius that's your friend right or is it oh it's cornell lewis I think. all right <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, Cornelius. Cornelius. That's my new Cornelius. nickname for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, I mean, Cornelius is a real name. Celsius right now. How many Celsius? It is a real name. Four degrees. Four degrees? Wait, indoors? Yeah. Outside. outside. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just right outside. It's four <laughs> degrees Celsius. Yeah, four Flash, degrees. Flash, um, yeah. That's super cold, Let's man. Let's see here. What is it in Fahrenheit? I need to like convert it back to Fahrenheit. It's 40 degrees Fahrenheit. 40 degrees Fahrenheit? So, yes. This it always is, sounds like a lot higher. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Celsius yeah. is like... I mean, at least it's above freezing. Mm-hmm. Well, it's almost freezing. <laughs> It's almost freezing. Exactly. Yeah. Like and the fish would all outside. be sleeping at this hour. Oh. <laughs> well, oh. I think it's it's almost like um, she has to go this early because there's only one shot. It's almost like it's just like playing like World of Warcraft or an MMO where like you, they spawn, the spawn resets every night. Uh -huh. So if you're not the first one there, then you don't get the fish. <laughs> so you have to wake up super early before everyone else wakes up and then like, you know, ruins the spots. Uh-huh. 
What, yeah. what, what are the appeals of going to different spots to fish? Is it like different types of fish or what? Uh, different loot. For her, these are all the same type. It's just, yeah, different loot almost. Like different sizes and, and like... <laughs> And usually there's only, just like in like a MMO, there's only one fish spawn per spot. So mm-hmm. you, have to, you have to go to all the different spots to see whether they're there or not. If there's only one fish spawn, it sounds like it's a, the wrong area to go, right? Like, if there's only one. It, well, well, I mean, with climate change, it's kind of like that. And it's also like fluctuates every single year. It's actually, it's not exactly tied to climate change but i think like there was once a year, year 2006 when it was like crazy and then like mm-hmm. no one knows why and then like it just like changes every single year and then like even like between weeks like a few weeks ago she was here and it wasn't that good i mean it was good but not that good and like this weekend is super good so there's enough like randomness built in that she gets rewarded to go <laughs> Like a real I don't team. like the fish swim everywhere. Like, what? Why that's not? They like don't. A spawn? They don't. They hold. Yeah, they they like to they oh. like to hang out in certain spots because they're tired. Oh. They're tired of swimming all the time, so they like to like park on the side of certain structures because mm-hmm. they're like, I'm just gonna hang out here and wait for food to drop. Oh, okay. Well, then that. the food leads to their death. Yes. <laughs> And that's still the do risk it. they must take. <laughs> yes, but that's why they're so finicky because they have been like the ones I've been hooked before are like, oh no, fuck that! I'm not gonna go back up again. Yeah. So you have to like be very sneaky. So yeah, it's like her fishing lures or whatever are like fake fish eggs or like like um a, a thing that looks like a bug but it's actually a hook inside that kind of thing. Yeah. So, like, Is it all catch and release? Um, so it depends on what type of fish she caught. So there's like wild fish and there's hatchery fish, which are like bread just for catching and uh, for eating. And then you are can they tell released the in a while? Because they... Yeah, they are released into the wild after they've grown up a little bit. Mm. And then they have their fins clipped. Like one, one fin is clipped. Okay. So, so it's easier to catch them? Right away whether no, they're the same, but like um, you can tell right Won't away whether it's a wild or not. they be crippled with one fin clipped? So apparently, there's one fin that they don't use as much. Okay. It's almost like um, like an accessory fin of Lewis some kind. Lewis says different fisherman. Exactly. <laughs> it is totally a fisherman <laughs> situation. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, and as you level up, you you become more skilled, and you can access new areas. Yeah. And you know, actually, there is a fisherman thing because some of them come tagged, and then if you return a tag, you get real money. Oh, like wow. the, the surf fishing survey people will like pay you to let the, to like, give them the data back. That's a good so incentive. So then, like, yeah, so well, Johan's friend, yeah, has caught some with like fifty dollar tags. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, so, so there, I think there that would incentivize me incentive. to fish. I think. Oh yeah. Assuming like I got the random. tags frequent enough. Yeah. I mean if you spend yeah. like sad like, part few is hours, you spend so much money. You, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the I mean it's a, it's time, a nice bonus. Fishing I, guess. Not good. I mean you're yeah, going there exactly. just to enjoy fishing anyway, and then you get like fifty bucks out of it. And it's like, yeah, that's why not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. It's yeah. like for the gas to doing this travel. Years and has gotten zero. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the rate is really low. <laughs> she just needs to know yeah. where the tagged fish are. Maybe they aren't know, right? any tagged fish. Then you get like uh friends who work in the tagging companies or research labs. Oh gosh. And then you find out. I think the whole point is they don't know where the fish are going. That's why they're tagged. So they know. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. But yeah, well one one tagged fish equals two cast iron pans. As me and Sing discussed <laughs> extensively. <laughs> Actually, yeah, every time I'm like, oh man, George must be so bored. <laughs> it's fine. Talk. Like this one I woke up, I was like, <laughs> we're talking about like, like 90 messages on Discord. And then I was like, oh shit, <laughs> what's going on? And yeah, it must saw... be something really important. <laughs> <laughs> Just pants. <laughs> I know. That's okay. I mean, you guys yeah. can talk about pants. Think... Yeah. Yes. 
it is very important that we took a call to talk about cast iron pans. <laughs> Enlighten me. Um, What's but, the use of one? Well, you see, having one makes you seem really old school in <laughs> cooking. <laughs> I feel like that's the only reason. Like, it's not... I, I watched a video by Adam Raguse that talks about, like, whether a cast iron pan is even worth it. And mm -hmm. I think his thing is, like, you can do pretty much do everything in a stainless steel these days because... Like, cast iron was really important back when people didn't know how to make good pans. Okay. Like, uh, with the, with other materials. But now, I think like, it's technology like, is so improved. It's like a manual car and auto car thing, you know? Like, some people yeah. prefer manual because it makes them feel, I don't know, like, like old school or more productive, you know? Mm -hmm. Or, like, authentic, mm -hmm. even. I mean, but you can say like, a mechanical people... keyboard, right? Versus regular keyboards. I don't know. I won't say regular keyboards are an improvement. Like, like no, I mean, you know, a like, functional. Like, it's not a... Right? You don't need to have, like, a fancy keyboard. As long as you no, can... No, no, but input. I mean... But I mean, like... Uh, so, like, with auto and, like, auto cars and, like, newer frying pans, like, mm -hmm. the technology has advanced. Yeah. You know, so like there is a obvious benefit to using it, you know, mm -hmm. but like, I don't know, like membrane keyboards, there's no obvious benefit other than like cost, I guess, if you're just talking purely cost. I mean, there's no benefit to really? using a mechanical keyboard besides actuating without bottoming out. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it feels better. I, I mean, not. Yeah, I feeling mean, is subjective. Feel yeah. Like majority of people don't give a shit. I guess. Yeah. What well, well, the fastest typer in the world, what what keyboard do they use? They they use those sternography keyboards. I mean if you're talking about Oh, okay, never mind. The real fast <laughs> ones. But oh, you can't really fast. compare, right? Oh, uh... hmm? You can't really compare like a stenographer versus like a versus like a regular okay, keyboard. Okay, the fastest the fastest QWERTY I mean, typer. It is a keyboard. Does that okay. person use a mechanical? Probably, I don't know. I don't know. Like some, uh, the what's the name? The dance company, like they, when they used to hold like exhibitions at those trade shows, they would like set up like a typing test, and people can come and like compete. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Lewis said mechanical keyboard equals make you think it is ninety ninety five equals mental health benefit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for 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 nostalgia people like him. <laughs> actually like me too um <laughs> yeah i i agree and but I, lately i haven't been using my mechanical keyboard i kind of put it away i don't know maybe i should dig it out again oh you mean you have to be using I, your I, laptop I, yeah i've been using my laptop on like a angled stand thing mm -hmm. mm. doesn't that hurt like, your wrist it didn't feel like mm, being angled i don't know I got used to it. Uh -huh. I feel like supposedly it does, right? But yeah. I feel like for me, it's more comfortable. I mean, I know it does. Because I'm sitting like... very high. Okay. Oh, you're sitting much higher uh -huh. than your desk? Yeah, it's not very ergonomic in the first place. So I'm just trying to like <laughs> add a tiny bit of ergonomics to okay. the whole thing. Yeah, no, right I know, like, if I, if I use a table. keyboard that's angled too high, like my wrists will hurt. Because mm -hmm. I sit mm -hmm. with my like, elbows uh, parallel to the table oh yeah so, so ergonomic i mean that's the point right if you're gonna work all day you should yeah yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah so so sing yep speaking of mechanical keyboards <laughs> tell me more about why you why you decided to buy something from novelkeys.com not sponsored and then decided to unbuy <laughs> not buy anything from them after all and then you also link me some keyboards that look neat. I don't know. I, just, I don't know what you're chewing on. I need a cookie. Oh. <laughs> you bought something Subway from NK? Uh, no, it's from, it's from lunch. And I had a cookie from Subway. I didn't finish it. Oh. Subway makes pretty good oh, cookies, Subway. by the way. I'm very yeah, torn because I, to I buy... hate Subway, but I'm forced to eat it when I'm in Malaysia, and I'm like, okay, this is actually better than eating the same thing at home all the time. But it's good. Subway is pretty good. Yeah. <sighs> but we don't have better in Malaysia. It's like the only 
Well, one of the only, the only sandwich. The other one is uh, yeah, the... O'Brien's. I know, there right? is no better. But O'Brien, I think, I'm not sure they closed down already, but a lot of the hours are gone. Oh, uh, maybe. I have no idea. I haven't oh. eaten in years or so. But I don't know. I feel like O'Brien's yeah, is not as worth it because they just give you regular bread. Mm-hmm. But Subway has like, you know, the Subway, the sub kind of bread. <clears throat> so it feels, yeah, it feels so you like you want to make a lot of right? money in Malaysia. Open, <laughs> Sherrod, open a sandwich shop. Sherrod commented oh. a lot of keyboards today for stenography typically have predictive text, which is helpful. Some apps allow for a second user to proofread in real time. Bit overkill, but I suppose oh. it's ideal for court transcripts of international briefings or international. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, they need speed. Uh, that's why they use those mm. stenograph keyboards. I mean, you can open like a Google Doc and have people like collaborate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's true. Yeah, I wonder if using because uh, I used to use Text Expander for some things, you know, like typing in my email quickly or whatever, but mm-hmm. I haven't really used it in a while. I wonder if I should reconsider. Oh. Mm. Uh, do you I guys know, use anything like... like that? No, I feel like you might get too reliant on it, and when you don't have it, then it's going to feel weird. And you're screwed? <laughs> I mean, you, you you might need to like get used to not having it. Mm-hmm. So like, sometimes like, I use like normal keyboards, and then like the key placements are a bit different. It throws me off for a while. You know. Lewis I keep pressing the wrong thing. How is the normal keyboard different I from your normal? I hate those ducking like, predictive probably. text algos. But... Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I set up my keyboard oh, in a way where yeah. certain keys mm-hmm. are like placed differently. Mm. Mm. So it's like, for me, but like, yours it makes is not sense. It is, but I mean like, there's some keys that I moved around. Oh, so yeah. you like software remapped it? Yeah. Oh, well, what, what do you change? That's more intuitive. Mm, I took away cap slot and then I put control there instead. But it's more like a Windows thing. Uh, for Mac, like, I don't think it makes a difference. Oh, I see. So you can Because that, like, that way, like, um, instead of like pressing control like down here, and like control C, right? Uh-huh. I'm squishing my hand. It, it's more like this, so it's like more relaxed. Oh, you know? yeah. Oh, but it doesn't work for Mac because I like, can see that's good. Mac uses like the command key. Yeah. Yeah, and then you put command where caps lock is, and then like you lose control, mm-hmm. and then like it, I don't know, it, it messes me up a bit. Maybe if I was like using Mac oh. full time, it might be different. I might get used to it, but when I switch back and forth mm-hmm. between my laptop and my PC. Then like it throws me for a loop. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Andrew commented, it's so random. I just watched a video recently on stenography. The keyboards are completely different, right? Gotta type based on location of keys and combinations to make words. It's not alphabet one. Uh, I'm not mistaken, it's based on the sound of words. Because mm-hmm. they use software uh, to predict what you're typing. You don't enter words by alphabets. So it's like based on the language of the the stenography software. But yeah, you 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 type words like pressing uh, chords on a piano, I guess. Based on the sound. And so that's I don't how, know how hard it is to learn. Well probably depends how much effort you put into it. Like everything. <laughs> I don't know if it's like easier to learn piano than stenography. Hmm. I don't know actually. I I, I feel. I feel like it's another it's probably one of those easier like than weird piano. ass skills where like. Yeah, but there's piano... no show off potential at all. <laughs> <laughs> piano, you need like rhythm. Compared. I mean, when you write, you have rhythm too. No, but no one's judging you based no. on your rhythm. No one sees it. Yeah. Oh. Right. Well, piano. You, you if feel you're better performing. You're, you feel you feel good when you type at a rhythm. You know, I mean, you're in the words flow, and then you da 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 da. You know, no. versus like you da da da, and then you're like ah da 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 da. You know. I don't think we're that level. Then. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's so productive enough, when like, I do that. It's coming from like, the brain to, to do that. Oh, I don't. Know. I always feel like it's a good session when I can do work at that level. Like, oh, done. You know. 
Wow. Uh, that's just like Hank Moody level. That's insane. Lewis says no, but it's not, it's not all the time. is easy versus piano. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Do you do it? I don't know. Do you use stenography keyboards? Are you a Lewis? stenographer? <laughs> Yeah. Is that is that one of another one of your weird hoard, hoarded items? <laughs> <laughs> you secretly have a stenography keyboard as well. <laughs> um, oh, but relatedly, there's this thing called shorthand handwriting. Have you guys do you guys know about that? It's based on a similar principle of like stenography no. keyboard. Where said, my aunt did, of, it, uh, did it. She's crazy now. I don't oh. know. <laughs> Is she is she really crazy? Or? Is there any correlation? <laughs> is that <a> correlation? <laughs> uh, the point. Yeah, of... there's, there's like different styles. The point is the ch challenge is very limited with stenography. You just need to repro the words. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. But I feel like it's a lost skill. I, th I think there's probably way more people who know how to play the piano than there are people who know how to do stenography these days. You should do that, like you and raise your probably... kids to learn stenography instead of piano. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's it's a like the, the, an, the anti The anti-Asian... <laughs> Gosh. New wave Asian I don't parents. know whether it's useful. <laughs> yeah. No more we're advocates. We are breaking. We are breaking stereotypes. We are breaking stereotypes. Yeah, I don't know. This, like, even typing fast. I feel like it used to be like so cool if you could type fast, but mm -hmm. now, like, I don't think it's as valuable as a skill anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. My mom was. Unless, my mom was young. They would. Game. They would send. She would go to typewriter class. Mm -hmm. So like it'll teach her how to type and use a typewriter. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Exactly. I still haven't found and like then, a, you know, a typewriter yet. Are you still looking for one? Um I mean it crosses my mind every now and then, you know. It's like one of those like uh if I had a typewriter I finished my book already, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Are you looking for I a modern you, I went one through or... that. No book was finished. Are you looking uh, for a modern one or a uh, retro one? Like those retro ones that you see in shops and cafes, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah. I feel those won't These... be nice to use. I don't know. I mean, if, if it was a modern one, then I must have just used my computer, right? Like, it's not so cool. It doesn't look so cool. <laughs> that why some people I like to drive apps? manual cars, you know? Us, Andrew, yeah. He converted his uh, automatic car to a manual car. Why did he do that, Andrew? Really? Yeah. You have to give like, a good reason. You do you that? Know, like, yeah. not, we're all judging you. <laughs> <laughs> Live. Uh, the whole said, world is... There is no Carnegie Hall for stenography. Do they have steno keypad for iPhone? That would be hilarious. Oh. oh. Actually, I think that would be quite useful, right? Yeah, I mean, I we wonder. already have stuff I like mean, swiping. Board. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, in a way, like those autocomplete, really, like some of, some Android keyboards have like predictive text too. So I guess that mm -hmm. that comes pretty close to the, stenography. I thought all keyboards now have predictive text on phones, at least. Uh, actually, I haven't actually always disable the predictive. Oh really? No, like, you know, I, actually, I don't know. I haven't I haven't used the iPhone predictor for a while, but, like, some Android keyboards, they have the... Yeah. Like, yeah. above the keyboard, like, it pops up the words, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Android yeah. has I'm not sure if... Yeah, so I'm not sure if iPhone has that. I haven't seen that before. I thought iPhone did. Well, I thought it every... auto-corrects. Hmm. Uh, oh, Andrew says manual is the I way to go. Because my left hand would have nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> is that a good response wait you're not texting while you're driving <laughs> <laughs> I think he still does that oh, there is predictive text oh, oh I was what off. the heck <laughs> alright okay so iPhone has do it do not too. text I guess, and drive I guess I always turn it off mm. I like the I like the little bit of extra screen real estate 
Oh. Well, I learned that mine autocorrects the other way around. It auto because I I made it like I didn't make it. I bought a duck for Thanksgiving, but it kept autocorrecting it to fuck. <laughs> like, why is mine doing the opposite? <laughs> maybe you send. I guess it knows me. I think I yeah maybe much. I probably do say fuck way too much. <laughs> so dumb. Oh, so like um, I discovered this is like uh, it's almost like humble bundle, but for like Mac apps called setapp.com. Mm-hmm. Not sponsored. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm like checking it out. Because like yeah, I want to really get it, like uh, busy. It's not really account. a humble bundle, right? It's, it's like a it's Spotify like a subscription. Yeah. It's like a subscription, yeah. But a lot of the, oh, I mean, true. a lot of them sound. Okay, it's a Netflix. Yeah, Netflix. A lot of them sound Mac pretty apps. cool. I actually like asked them before because. You know, like sometimes, like um, TV shows and movies leave Netflix. Mm-hmm. So, I, so mm-hmm. I'm wondering, like, what what if you subscribe to setup and then you get so attached to like one app and then like whatever due to licensing, then you know that they pull it, right? Yeah. Did they respond? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Respond. Uh, they did. So I mean, like, they basically can't guarantee you that it'll stay, lah. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. So that was their response. They can't guarantee that it'll stay. That sucks. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's fair, yeah, and right? then... Like you know, licensing and all that. So yeah. And a lot but of when you think about, sorry, they yeah. have, I already have it separately. Which one? Um. Do you have I'm better trackpad? Okay, so Gem and I already have. That's for removing duplicates from your Mac, and it's actually really powerful for that. Um, cause you know, if you st- sometimes you see save photos, especially it like backs it up in like some other photo library you don't even notice. It, it catches that. Um, okay. my node is a my maps one that I also have as well. Um, clean my Mac is also really useful for disk space and things like that. You actually use a lot of these um, apps. I do, yeah. Um, oh, so but I, what I wanted I... was BusyCal. Oh, because when I was like looking for clean my Mac, and then I found setup right, and mm-hmm. then they also have Ulysses. Yeah, Ulysses. Yeah. So I thought like, oh, that's pretty cool. But then I was like thinking like, but I don't need all these other apps, you know. So I was like looking at the apps, and I was thinking like, I was trying to like justify mm-hmm. like, oh, which one would I use to make this subscription worth it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. But I don't know. I can't, uh, I haven't really found anything besides the ones that I was looking for. Because I was Ooh, looking at uh, the better, audio. better trackpad app. That one seems cool, but I could also oh. buy it on its own through the website. But it's more expensive, right? What? Well, like I mean, uh, if you buy from them, it's like twenty one dollars for a lifetime fee. It's a one off mm-hmm. purchase. Is it? Yeah, one off purchase. Yeah, like, I guess long term is cheaper. Yeah, like, so depends. Yeah. Whether you want, they also have a uh, nine dollars for two years. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. So I don't know. Depends how long you end up using it. Cause nine nine ninety nine a month for just one app feels not worth it for me, lah. Yeah, that's why I was like trying to yeah. like look for other apps to like justify the mm-hmm. use. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Are you using setup, Kristen? Uh, no, not yet. I'm also doing the same thing. I'm like doing the mental math, right? Because if I only <laughs> want BusyCal, mm-hmm. it's forty nine ninety nine lifetime. Okay. So it's like, you know, if I use it for like five months, it's already, I'm already spending more than what I would have spent. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know, but it's actually, this is a good like directory of cool apps to check out. Oh yeah, that's like, oh. true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you guys want to check out some cool apps that kind of go together, it's uh s c t a p p dot com set app for mm. Mac. I'm actually not wondering how many people on like a sling are like, even using a Mac anyway. No idea. How many Mac users do we have in chat? Raise your hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sharon, really uh, speaking of Netflix, I've heard live action Cowboy Bebop is poop. Thoughts? I haven't seen it. You guys, I haven't seen it, but all the reviews say it kind either. of like kind of terrible. Oh, don't you want to give movies I've never like even that watched a shot? the original anime? <laughs> yeah, me neither. I mean, I, I yeah. did watch like the other live action anime movies, like uh, like 
so was it uh, Ronin Kenshi? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was you okay. It was good, was right? Not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. So maybe what this one is there? good too. I don't know. I mean, I, I like Kenshi because I watched the anime, right? So mm-hmm. it's nice to see it brought to real life. Yeah. But I never seen Cowboy Bebop, so I, I don't know. But I tried watching like the original anime. Uh huh. But then mm-hmm. I don't know. It, it wasn't for me. I like got bored really quick. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Is it a slower pace kind of anime? It's not, but then... I don't know, it just didn't appeal to me. I guess... It, I don't know, it's like really old, right? I think the original is like really old. Mm-hmm. And like the, the style is like so... So old school, like I don't know, it just felt like I couldn't watch it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I mean like... I feel like the same thing when I went to go back to watch the original Transformers... It felt so bad oh. to watch because it was so <laughs> old. Yeah, I, I but I mean, I, I I had good memories watching. Yeah, I had so good memories so, too, of course. But, so like, it helps. It helps like uh, make up for the bad, you know. Yeah, I don't know. In the end, I like didn't bother finishing. I only watched like the original movie. I think I, Netflix has like some new Transformer animations too. I think it's like Beast. Like something to do with the Beast Wars. God, what's it called already? Beast Wars is old one. No, no, no. It's a new one. Like, uh, hey, oh, Kristen go? disappeared. Hmm. Maybe her internet cut out. Sharad uh, says, "Bebop. It's like a detective space opera." Yeah, I'm not sure. Mm, recently I've been watching I started watching season 2 of The Tunnel that's really good but I mean I enjoyed season 1 so oh I'm yeah. not sure oh it's, it's a... called War for War for Cybertron sorry it's not Beast Wars okay. War for Cybertron that's a Netflix one mm. I don't know where Kristen went Yes, internet issues. Yeah. So what did you do today, Singip? Uh, I cleaned out my room. Oh yeah, you're showing pictures of the boxes. Yeah. Didn't realize I had like yeah. so many empty boxes. Hmm. Oh, this is an exciting decluttering conversations. Tell me more. <laughs> yeah, I Marie condo my room. Oh, well, not really. I just spring cleaned. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get rid of? Uh, because when we moved house, I had a lot of junk that I couldn't. I didn't. I couldn't find a space to put in my room. Right. So I mm-hmm. used like half the closet, half my c- cupboard to store the junk. Then I was like mm-hmm. thinking like ah oh, I should I should clear it out, you know, like I have so many other drawers that I could like probably make room for. Mm-hmm. And I decided to like ah why not just do it now, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did it take long? No, it took actually took a lot less time than I thought. But it's still not perfect, like like uh I could probably like arrange it better. But for now, well, it's, uh, I guess you... it's a good step. Well, what was in the boxes? What was in the box? Uh, and I think it was like just empty boxes. Like sometimes I get all these like stuff from my Shopee. And then like, I'm too oh, lazy to go Oh, it's not even and... like things inside. Yeah, and sometimes I'm too lazy to throw it away. So I just stack it somewhere. <laughs> and then I realized like, oh, oh shit, I have a lot of boxes. Yeah. So did you give it to the Saudi pay people? No, we have a recycling bin. Oh, you do? Oh, so... (laughs) Well, let me tell you, in Clang, there's still those, like, giant lorries (laughs) that will blast at the speaker. I think they still do in, like, uh... Cardboard. I feel like they they still do in, like, those um, neighborhoods. So but I mean, I'm in a condo, so I I don't think they... they yeah, don't exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sao Gao Bo Zi. Paper Lama. Paper Lama. Andrew says, oh my gosh, why do we always play the same recording? 
And they hump. It's like the ice cream truck. Andrew says it's so weird that people in the states have internet issues. Oh, that's just me. Uh, no, I, so actually, if you must know, it wasn't an internet issue. It's more stupid than that. I was like, oh no, I'm hearing like a laggy, like repeat of ev- what everyone is saying. And I don't understand where it's coming from. There uh-huh. must be something wrong with my input output. Turns out it's because I had Twitch open and it started autoplay. <laughs> 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 and oh. I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. Okay. That's the truth. That's why I dropped off. I just got confused. Okay. <laughs> mystery solved <laughs> I know I know I just think I want to mention it because it's so stupid but if you must know <laughs> I think yeah, yeah, US like internet that, isn't that like all is that, that great right no it's not that like, great because I'm like, using um, like, the, it's like, like my a- boss always complains about it I think like, mm-hmm. I'm looking at it now it says US is like the 13th fastest in the world yeah, no, it's so pretty sad. I think like I think Korea's number one. Well, I mean right? it's not so much about speed, more about like stability, right? So yeah. um so they also show that Americans may be doing well on average, but it's not spread equally. Mm. Mm-hmm. So like maybe I guess if you live in like a <laughs> populated city, it might be better than in the rural side. Lewis said Kristen yeah. is an amateur pro stream with three autoplay windows open and power through it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <sighs> Shush. <laughs> I didn't I didn't remember our own Twitch URL and I had to open it. That's why, okay. <laughs> you wouldn't remember where our thing is hosted. <laughs> um yeah, like um at home I don't even have fiber. My some of my friends in the city have fiber. I just have but, crappy broadband oh. that drops half the time. I think Unify is not fiber, right? Is it? I think Unify uh, still uses like those copper, copper cables. Yeah. Right? yeah. Mm-hmm. So Time Internet is fiber, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so you for guys liking the stream, fiber? Andrew. No, we do. We do. Like, uh, time, time Internet is usually like almost exclusive to condos. It is exclusive to condos, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, right. yeah. Oh. I don't, actually, I don't know. I mean, yeah. So like people saying like landed properties but have no choice but use like Unify or Maxis, I guess. Mm. Did they Maxis call me asking if I wanted like uh internet? Then they're like, Are you using mm. Unify? And I think uh, I just said yeah, and then they're like, Oh uh, it's essentially the same, you know. Because like uh, Maxis piggybacks on Unify. Yeah. And then mm. like, what's the point of upgrading then? <laughs> yeah, that yeah, was the it, point. I don't need it. <laughs> 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 what a crappy sales pitch is that? <laughs> There's no like I don't know maybe, deal maybe or anything like that. Maybe like maybe they wanted to sell me on price like oh it's the same but we're cheaper you know. Mm-hmm. But I didn't give yeah. a chance to say that. <laughs> you you hang up on them? <laughs> no no I I never actually I actually never hang out on these people because uh I mean I used to work at Maxis and sometimes we do like do these kind of calls. Uh-huh. So, so like uh, singers too nice. So like I know yeah. like how it feels like to be hung up on. So I I don't wanna hang out on these people. Uh-huh. <laughs> I would oh. just tell them like no thanks, no thanks, you know. Uh huh. Oh, but you did let them finish the pitch. Uh, I mean like oh, well, they want to waste their time and my time. Get a pitch <laughs> but what if it is cheaper? Would you do it? No, I mean for the while I wasn't using Unify, so uh, no Louis reason said... for me to like bother. Yeah. Weird oh. thing in America is the fanciest places still have shit for basic service. San Jose has bad water, mediocre internet, bad roads, etc. $1.5 million houses. <laughs> yeah, but uh, like, you know, oh, so, so, I mean, not to, not to whatchamacallit. What do you call it when you like reveal where someone lives? Oh my Docs. gosh. I'm losing <laughs> yeah, not to dox him or anything. So I would not say where he lives within that area. <laughs> but like what's what really cracks me about where Lewis lives is that like one block away it's super fancy and I never knew that until like very recently I think like only like a few months ago like uh, me and Yuhang were like driving to his house and we took like a weird way like um because we were picking something up and mm-hmm. I was like oh his area is actually super nice it's just his street is not nice <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what a what a stark divide. Um, but you know, of course, I make fun of him. But he also owns his own house, so I can't I can't mock him when I'm nothing. <laughs> I was I was just laughing because I always thought that his area was all like like where he lives, but it turns out there's some really nice places that are walkable, but just like two blocks away. <laughs> So I think that's what's what what it is like in America. It's like you can live in a very nice place, and then the next street, it's like you know, super ghetto and like mm-hmm. scary. Yeah, yeah. But like, how how near is it like to each other? Me and him, or or uh, no, no, like 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 the good neighborhood people. and the bad neighborhoods. Oh, blocks. it can be like a block away. It, it can be very, very close to, to each other, and you just can't. So does it get like more? Does away. it get more expensive, like the further away you stay from, like the crappier neighborhood? Yeah, pretty much. And then, like the super fancy areas tend to be like gated and all that kind of stuff. Or as Johannes noted, the fancier your neighborhood, the more crooked the streets are. They start to like curve for no reason. <laughs> oh, so you know you've made it. <laughs> when you live on the street, that's not straight. It says, yeah, I live on the right side of the tracks, but only slightly. It's like one block mm-hmm. away, more or less. Yeah. It's a little more complex yeah. because the high density housing is pushed to the edges of the nice area. Are like, the people in the nice area like mad that they stay so close? Uh. <laughs> so it is cheaper because it is near bad area or because it's high density. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there anywhere yes. like that it's in Malaysia? Nimbyism. Singapore? Mm. I guess Bukit Bintang? Like nearby is like Pudu, right? Which is kind of seedy and dodgy. <laughs> yeah, even like even like Jana Awa, right, where Fabian used to live. Yeah. Right. But it was kind of like dodgy. Mostly CD, but then it's like really weird. You have houses and then the next row is like all the bars. Yeah. So it's like it's such a weird combo. Hmm. I don't think there are oh. places like that in Malaysia. Bro, we haven't explored well, I feel like Malaysia. Malaysia enough. is more like your your apartment complex is next to a kampong situation. <laughs> like, it's not oh. seedy, it's just like, for some reason, there is a little village <laughs> next to oh, right, right, right. Kind of thing. And there's like roosters in the morning. Yeah, but, yeah, so like, like, oh yeah, so there's like this, uh, in Bangsa South, like, there are a lot of nice condos there. But then like, uh, you mm-hmm. get towards the edge of it, then it's like all those high density apartments and kampongs. So it's like such a stark contrast that like you drive there and then it's like I all guess these because it's fancy office buildings. And you like go to the traffic light, you turn and then suddenly it's like, where am I? It's like such a different place really. But because mm-hmm. it used to be only those like shanty buildings, right? Yeah, and I mean I guess it's not part of it. It's not fair to like chase people away who have been like living there for so long. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, we're like kind of like Mount Kiara, right? When we were in school, it used to be like a jungle kind of school. At least it was <laughs> just jungle. Like there weren't monkeys like monkeys and all. There weren't villages there that they destroyed. That's true. Yeah. Well, they yeah. Destroyed I thought there was they destroyed like, the like further the down. I thought there was there were like all these like really uh village kind of houses further down. Not sure. Uh-huh. Like after the primary. No. Yeah, I thought there was like supposed to be like villages further down. I haven't driven there in a while, so I don't know. I think much further, but not not really that close. Yeah. And, and there was like an empty lot that you had to like cross to like get to Plaza Monkiara. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. I I don't think that's that, that empty lot. I think it's like another giant building now. Yeah, yeah. It's like a. I think it's like a apartment now or is it a mall yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah i'm not sure like when like mon karasani like popped up with so many condos it's pretty crazy mm-hmm. yeah uh, it's probably between the time yeah. we left school and yeah, it's definitely after like we yeah. left school i don't remember seeing so many high rises yeah that uh plaza mon Chiara was like an oasis 
among a wasteland of nothing. Mm-hmm. Was yeah, what? I think that was like Starbucks. That was Mc- Hagen Dazs. Was that McDonald's? Was Hagen Dazs, I think. Yeah, that was McDonald's. Yeah, yeah if Mc- you think about it, it has some like really fancy shit. <laughs> But well, the Starbucks is still there, and so is the McDonald's. Yeah, but oh, I don't think those God. will ever close down. Yeah, yeah, I don't uh, think I've ever seen a McDonald's close down before. Oh like, really? Yeah. Wow. Like I mean, that's definitely you basically here. print money when you open a McDonald's here, at least. Oh. Uh. Everyone likes McDonald's in Malaysia. Yeah, I mean, so it's a little like quality. The yeah. ones in the U.S. are so terrible. <laughs> really? You what? think Malaysia McDonald's is better? Poorly managed. Yes, hundred and ten percent. Really? I don't know. In what? In what way? Like, like the taste or what? I mean, it should be like almost identical. Yeah, the right? taste. The actual menu items are better. Like, you don't get McSpicy and other things here. They don't get. I mean, if you were to like order enough. like a Big Mac or a double cheese. Is not as good here, like because like for some reason like either the meat quality is not as good or like the management is terrible where they don't give a shit whether it's hot or cold. Sometimes your burger can be cold. <laughs> oh, there's nothing you can do about it. Mm. And I've been we to never, one in Chicago where the whole place burgers, is flooded. Too. Oh, and the machine, I mean that's not really the that fault, right? Machines half the time don't work. <laughs> oh, I think I read like a Reddit post on like why it doesn't work. So basically, yeah. like yeah. really high maintenance. What comes out of really that bag is not what you see on the menu. Mm-hmm. That's what Lewis said. And just yeah. Like, yeah. Time well, in Malaysia, it's better. really close to what you see. As pork like, burger, you, you guys are missing out. Actually, okay. like whenever I go to Thailand and eat McDonald's, I always get like the Thai special burgers. Mm-hmm. Like, I would never order oh, Big Mac if I were to... They have like uh pork burgers, I guess. This is the main draw. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like there's no reason for me to like order a Big Mac when I can get a Big Mac here. But maybe I should do that next time just to compare. Yeah. Another excuse to eat McDonald's and go to Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. I can't remember. I, guess I think I've only eaten McDonald's lot. once in America. And that was like at the airport. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. How was that? I, I can't remember. I mean I I, I think it tasted fine. Like, it wasn't oh. terrible or anything. But normally, if we do eat fast food, it would be a uh, Shake Shack. Oh. oh Shake Shack's yeah. so good. Yeah, Shake Shack is good. <laughs> but then, I mean, that's uh, at, at the airport as well. Uh. Like, we eat regular mm. restaurants when we're in the cities. Is Carl's okay. Jr. like big choice. in the US? It used to be. I feel like they really like lost out to a lot of the like other ones like Chick Fil A and Popeyes. Mm. So what's the biggest one now? For you should be make these, burger. right? Yeah, fast food. It's still McDonald's. Oh, still McDonald's. But you said it sucks. Yeah. Or people don't know better. Yeah. Because they haven't been overseas. Yeah, pretty much. Huh. Yeah. I mean, of all the ones, like you gotta like, but the, the, I think the issue is that the other ones are even worse. <laughs> oh really? So like Burger King, Wendy's, and all of that. Oh my gosh, it's like so terrible most of the time. It's really oh, rare yeah, to find people a good one. eat stuff like Five Guys and I don't know Shake Shack. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, but they're so regional that like they're so uh, they they're more common in East and West Coast, but they're not everywhere. Oh uh, okay. So like we only have one Shake. One or two Shake Shacks in in the Bay Area. In in uh, Texas, like, I ate a lot of uh, Water Burger, Water Burger, Water Burger. Oh yeah. yeah, I haven't tried it. I wanted to try it. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. Water yeah. Burger. I also want to try the Mark Wahlberg Wall Burger, even though he's a douche. I, <laughs> I want to try the burger. <laughs> it's its own fast food chain. Yes. Oh, and yeah, is, never it the really been a while. is it new? Um, I they have in Vegas. I don't know where the other locations are. Oh, okay. Yeah, Wahlburger. <laughs> I guess if your oh, name think... sounds like it could fit the word burger in it, you should open a burger joint. So I think the rest of us are screwed because I cannot make like a Chong burger. It doesn't sound very good. <laughs> it's like Asian inspired. Yeah, Ching Chong burger. <laughs> oh, 
I'll get canceled. Would it be racist for you? I mean, you are Chinese, right? Yeah, but it doesn't work that way. Like, so, like, my <laughs> well, my friend had a cat, and then she named it Ching Chong, and uh-huh. then, like, it's super awkward when I bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, my other friend adopted him, and I reverted his name to the original name, Samsa. Oh. But in my head, he's still called Ching Chong. I just can't say <laughs> it. <laughs> That reminds me Why? of uh, H.P. Lovecraft's cat. Because you're not supposed to, like, perpetuate... That's why a lot of people hate Uncle Roger in the U.S. Because he's seen as perpetuating a stereotype rather but, than but promoting, who... like, racial harmony. No, but, okay, who named... Is it, like, your friend who named the cat Ching Chong, like, Asian? Yes. But she's also an edgelord type person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but who are upset at <laughs> Uncle Roger though? Like, uh, is it like the, the I'm upset Kenji. at Uncle Roger? Kenji's upset at Uncle Roger. Who's Kenji? <laughs> uh a famous internet chef. I don't know. That 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 thing of knows. <laughs> a very influent an influencer in the online cooking space. And he hates Uncle Roger. He hates when people mention Uncle Roger in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Andrew asked if you tried the M&M spaghetti. Oh, no. That's only in Detroit. Oh, right. <laughs> These are like super regional. You have regional. to r- risk like, your life. <laughs> I bet it's only in one town. <laughs> like, <laughs> I would uh, love to try M&M spaghetti. <sighs> Lewis said, I think Carl's Jr. is more regional now, not huge. Oh yeah, and okay. it's also called like um, what's it? <laughs> Louis, remind me. What are what is Cast uh, Junior actually called in other places? Because it's also got two names. Oh, it has a different name. Yeah. Oh, I think I heard of it, but I can't. I can't recall it. Is, is, yeah, is it I, like I, what? What the price is like in US for Carl's Junior? Is it comparable to McDonald's? Also expensive. No, it's more expensive. He like, said they Hardee's. The price now. Parties, yeah, that's what it's called. What a um, weird name. Yeah, well, burger can be cl- very close to like eight, nine dollars. The McDonald's? Um, the Hardee's or Carl's Jr. It's way more expensive. And it's no, not uh, that much about, better. What about McDonald's? Oh, um, getting a meal can be up to $14 now. I remember like being very shocked. I I'd, like every, I'm get I get sick of shocked every time I go to McDonald's, and it's because I don't play the game of trying to go to the app and like trying to get the deals, <laughs> and you have oh. to get a certain combination of things to get like the good deal. But it's never the combination I want. Louis says Jeff you know, Goldblum like, has a pretty epic Arby's ad. By the way, I have not oh, seen it. Okay, link it to us. Link it to us. What is Arby's? Is that another fast food um, chain? That's the one with the roast beef. Yeah, it's like a Never roast beef it. sandwich place. Okay. Uh, it's not as big now. It used to be bigger. The uh-huh. icon, the, the logo is like a like a hat with the red strokes. No idea. Yeah, well. But, is it the hat that Pharrell, Pharrell wore last time in one of his videos? Not sure. But, but you know what I've really gotten to like only after I moved to the U.S. is Jolly Bee. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think they're opening in Malaysia, right? Or oh, they opened it already? They have um in Genting Highlands. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> so the Jolly Bee there all along. And I was, Did you go? I was, was it oh, open when you went? Yeah, it's like it's been there ever since I remember going to Kente. It's like oh, always okay. been thought, there. I think it's. Um, I thought it was like a world. new thing. I don't. Oh, remember. there might be a newer one. I'm thinking of the super ghetto old one in in First World. Like next to all the rides and stuff, there is a random Jolly Bee there, huh. and I I used to think it was so crappy. And I don't know, maybe I just never give it a good chance. But like only when I moved here and I live in a Filipino neighborhood where there's like three Jolly Bees. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's actually pretty, pretty good. What do you order then? And they have the sweet spaghetti, um, fried chicken, and then also they have a sweet spaghetti. Have you ever had it? It's got hot dogs in it. I think you might actually like it. It's like a super sweet ketchup sauce, 
Um, spaghetti is pretty like soft, so it goes down really easy. I feel and like, then, it's like... Um, they also have a ube pie. Oh, like okay. the taro pie. No, I feel like it might taste they, like the spaghetti we used to get in GIS at the canteen. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. Yeah, I mean, like, okay, it's not good, but I mean, it's like good memory. It's not good, but it's very nostalgic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, it's nostalgic. The memories taste good. Yeah, the actual food not so much. Exactly. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't but know. Yes, and they no, be so they be so lazy. Eating. Like they don't even dissolve like the Maggie cubes properly. <laughs> like it's not, sometimes you get chunks of Maggie cu- undissolved Maggie cubes. You know? know, it's heterogeneity. It's like chunks of un- unexpected saltiness. <laughs> Uh, no, what I miss from school is um the buddies fries. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, Actually, I, know. I think buddies so is still good. open though. Is it really? Uh, I don't I know, know if it's like the same buddies that we remember or like someone just took the name. Oh. Oh. But I remember seeing them on like Grab. Uh, but I think it might have been a while ago. I don't think it was like recent. Yeah. Try order the fries. Oh. Why? Yeah. I can just make my own. It's just paprika. <laughs> Now that I know. Is that what it is? Yeah, it is. Okay. What? You no, blown okay, my no. mind. I've always wanted to recreate like, like, that. <laughs> like, paprika, like paprika and fries is not new, right? But uh, one day I was like making fries and I was like, I have some paprika. Let me just put it on, you know? Then like, I mm-hmm. ate it and I'm like, hey, this tastes exactly like the buddy's fries. <laughs> yeah. And then there's no garlic powder. It's just straight up paprika. I don't sure if Buddy's added garlic powder, but then like uh mm. paprika is like the predominant taste. I mean you can you can go oh, like buy a bag of frozen fries blowing. and cook it. It's like toss some paprika. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. I I'm totally gonna do it. In fact I might just get McDonald's fries and then like bring it home in a bag. It's not oh. a paper bag. <laughs> I think that it might be better because like make these fries is really so good, right? And then you like add paprika yeah, yeah. on it. It's like next level. No, but the oh, buddy's shit, fries are that. different, right? They're like thicker chunks. That's true was too. It? Yeah, yeah. Um, no, it, it was my in... memory is like it, it was a steak fries, like with the zigzag. No, no, it, no, no. Uh, wait, I think it was a, I think it was the zigzag ones. The is it? Did they call okay, it crisscut well, fries? She said steak no. fries. Sure, uh, Buddy's fries. What is it? What shape is Buddy's fries? Please. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if he remembers. Hi, Dad. Happy, happy good morning and happy Thanksgiving to you. Oh, is it Thanksgiving now? Uh, yesterday, um, right? It, it passed, but like it's like Thanksgiving weekend. Uh-huh. Do you do anything? Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, uh, she's on a fishing well, I'm trip here. now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, do you do anything uh, Thanksgiving-y? A bunch of people. I, I message people Thanksgiving, Happy Thanksgiving. So oh. thank you, Uncle. <laughs> um I yeah, I bought the roast duck from a Hong Kong style roastery place. And then I made oh. <laughs> uh Brussels sprouts, mash, and uh cran sauce, cranberry sauce. That was pretty um, good. Yeah. That's that's pretty much it. I can go into how I made those food the simplest way possible this year. Uh, but yeah, like it's just pretty quiet. I think it's as tough as like normally, like if we, you know, um, our friends can get together, we try to do a Friendsgiving where it's just like, you know, us hanging out. But I think a lot of us are doing different things this year, so it didn't work out. But now, now I feel like I need to like do a post Thanksgiving Friendsgiving to make up for it. Friendsgiving. Mm. It should be like yeah. it should be like Chinese New Year, it's like fourteen days, so we can like. <laughs> You can do it anytime in between. Oh, that's a good idea. And I could be like, let's play Chold ID mm. and make up for it. Yeah, I don't know. Gathering is hard, as you know, because of the pandy, mm-hmm. which I've learned a new word. <laughs> a pandy. Yeah, the pandy. Like, oh, those are cute. Yeah, thanks, Lewis, for sending the Jeff Goldblum Arby's ad. See, like, you and I, we can't pull off wearing that kind of hat with shorts and a suit jacket. Like, we just won't look that cool. So it's really unfair. Because he's a it's celebrity. Confidence. Huh? <laughs> I think because he's a celebrity, like, he can do this kind of stuff. I know. It's not fair. 
fun. I mean, like, uh, I, I, are you guys blasting my Christmas playlist? Can, can... No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if I will, but yeah. Why? <laughs> I spent so long picking the hundred songs. Oh, really? You you made it yourself? Yeah, this is a complete... Oops, I'm, I'm linking the wrong thing. This is a completely customized Spotify list of hundred songs that are not commonly played during uh, Christmas. <laughs> you, uh, I don't know how to link it to all the chats, but I relinked it here. Okay, I will paste it in chat. Yes, it's me in a Christmas playlist. This is Kristen's <laughs> Christmas playlist for you guys. Yeah, 100 songs. Most of them are like not classics. Okay, so what I did is I tried to look for songs. Yeah, that are, B, uh, that are BTS like is by the artist. A Christmas classic. No, but they have a dynamite remix that's holiday themed with like the bells and everything. Actually, I don't think I ever heard. So I tried to look for songs that are like iconic um, by the artist, but they are not the straight up Christmas songs. Like for example, there's one by like Sia called Ho Ho Ho. That's more about being a hoe. Like you know, <laughs> so so it's like just like weird twists on Christmas songs. Uh huh. And there's some Taking Back Sunday, George, and like um Seosin and like there's a lot of emo bands with Christmas songs in here, but it's yeah. not covers. I know they they have and Christmas songs. And there's Aaron Kwok. Yeah. <laughs> there's like a tiny bit of Asia in there. I make sure there's one Canto Pop, one Mandarin, uh, some K-pop, and, and a Hitada, um, uh, gosh. Well, how do you say her name again? Utana, Hikaru, Utana. Hikaru, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And wow. I have a snuck yes, in a Hanukkah song. Yes, in here too. Mm-hmm. Ah, this girl Which I've learned is... they sing in Mandarin. I didn't know that. They have like a Mandarin subgroup, I think. Yeah, I was like, that's so clever. What a big market. Yeah, like the what was his name? Like the Super Junior. They have like, but well, they had thirteen members, I think. Mm-hmm. So they mm-hmm. split them out into like subgroups and like there were like a uh, group dedicated just for Chinese songs. Uh, not Chinese songs, but like appeal to the Chinese market and all that. Oh. Yeah, incredible. But my favorite song of all of them was probably Phineas's Another Year. I think that to me is the perfect Christmas song because it's like a little nostalgic sounding, a little like a little happy, a little sad at the same time. And also completely original. And there's also one ZV in there. Okay, good. Oh, I need Spotify not... Premium to play this. Nutmeg is there. Who is it? It's good that Nutmeg is there. Yes. I mean, <laughs> so he's referencing Nutmeg by Infected Mushroom, which is an EDM song. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But it's also Nutmeg by John Legend, which is a dirty song. Huh. <laughs> In fact, that Mushroom is an uh, EDM group. Yes? Question mark? I don't know. They're on Monster Cat, I think. Right. Sometime. So interesting. Wait, is it the same yeah. band I'm thinking? Are you thinking of Mushroom Head? That new metal band. Only mushroom themed bands. Oh right. Was I thinking of that? The right, 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 right. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Confused. Yeah. I wonder if there's a tool where you can like enter in a Spotify playlist and it automatically generates a YouTube playlist. This seems like a very useful thing. Hmm. You should code one. I'm sure you can do it in Python. I'm like, this must be done already by someone else. More time <laughs> yeah. So I got suckered back into Spotify again. I was telling my friend who works there. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, in the end, I caved because like it's so hard to make a playlist with other tools because I cannot easily surf through other people's like uh, Christmas playlists. They're just not as many. And like what I did to make this playlist is I looked through a lot of like playlists called like obscure Christmas, indie slash emo Christmas or whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
So or else there's no way I can discover a lot of these songs, right? Doesn't Apple have even like, though I know all users the bands. playlists? I feel like Spotify is actually better me. at the social aspects compared to Apple Music. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Like discoverability on Spotify is way better, I feel. Like yeah. I found so many new songs on Spotify when I was using it compared to Apple Music. But Apple Music, everything is pretty mm-hmm. much just on demand, like what I want to listen only. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because a lot of these bands, right, even though I know who they are, it's really hard to find their one, like, random-ass Christmas album or, like, they did one song on some compilation. There's no way you can find it. <laughs> okay. Unless someone else has already put it on their Christmas list or something. Yeah. Lucid yeah. Pastel Golf Christmas. <clears throat> what did he say? Pastel Golf Christmas. What's I that? Don't know. <laughs> what do you mean by that, Lewis? We don't understand. But yeah. Uh are you gonna put up a Christmas tree at home? Um, usually I buy something from Trader Joe's, like a tiny tree or something that's like made of rosemary. So I feel like, oh, at least oh. I can use it for something. Is it a lot though? Yeah. Like, is there a lot of rosemary? It is. And like, in reality, do I ever use a rosemary from the tree? Rarely. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of it is good. <laughs> But this year, there's a lot of shortages of items. Like, uh, when I go to Trader Joe's or supermarkets, like, they used to have all sorts of stupid shit I can buy. Like, this year, there's, like, hardly anything. They didn't even have the cinnamon broom and things like that. So, I don't know. I'm very torn. Because the other thing with Christmas trees is that, like, that means you need to have, like, a box full of Christmas ornaments or else your tree just looks sad. And I don't want to have, like, to keep a box of ornaments at home at all times, you know? <laughs> Mm. How about you guys? Me? No. I might. I, no. I'll change my room lights to red and green. <laughs> <laughs> red and green. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was looking into that. I was like, maybe I just do LED lights. Maybe yeah. like there's some like. Um, oh yeah, so give us a fancy LED lights. Do you did you set them up yet? Um. I haven't decided on where to put it yet, but then I realized it's not very good because you can't actually control the individual lights. Uh huh. So um, it's either oh. you set it all to uh one color, or you pick from pre-selected patterns. Can you customize those patterns? Nope. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah, oh, so uh, like... basically, I got I got Sandy's. Uh, you heard of Nano Leaf, right? Have you? No. No. Okay. So basically, these are like uh, LED panels, but they are shaped mm-hmm. so like they come in a triangular shape. So that like, they there are six oh. of these panels that you can connect together and like make shapes and then yeah yeah. So th- these are by Xiaomi's uh, E Light brand. So they sent it to mm-hmm. me for review. Yeah. So I guess your review is not <laughs> not going to be that great. I mean... Or, or are you still going to give them a glowing review and I can never trust your reviews ever again? <laughs> I mean, like, uh, yeah, I guess the main disadvantage would be the lack of individual control. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, mm-hmm. like, I mean, if you're fine with solid colors, uh, it's fine, you know? It's like nothing wrong with it yeah but you have to wait for my review to find out what i really think (laughs) well i can't wait please remember to link it to me Mm. yeah i'm looking at like uh some images of people using it it looks really nice actually i don't know why they don't require some um, creativity i don't know why they don't let you do individual panel customization like it it makes so much sense Mm -hmm. Uh, does it require like different circuitry or something? Hmm. But I, I guess mean, it, it, I it requires that people... each panel have its own Wi-Fi module, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. for this one, like, but uh, mm-hmm. 
you can't you need to plug in the module the controller module so i guess maybe the wi-fi module is built into it so like uh mm-hmm. you can't do individual yeah i guess that makes sense mm-hmm. right yeah no idea yeah Well, it looks really nice when I see these pictures of other people <coughs> using it on Reddit. Oh, the Nano Leaf? Yeah, the Nano Leaf is quite nice. Yeah. But it's also like... Is that like uh, a knockoff? Mark, it's also more... Let me bring the it up for chat. Nano Leaf. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't want to say no, it's I a want knockoff. to look for knockoffs <laughs> on Amazon. I need to buy the Yee Light. Let me, let, me, let me look for it. Uh oh my gosh, it's not that cheap at all. Browns. Yeah, the nano leaves are a little bit more expensive. Actually, the e-lights aren't that much cheaper. It's like I think maybe like 40, 50 bucks cheaper. Mm-hmm. These are the oh look, but you leaves. get you get thirty you get thirty percent off at checkout using the Black Friday code. Oh. <laughs> like these not people sponsored. are doing really cool designs. Yeah. Yeah, but it probably costs them See, so much. These are things where you have to be like a little bit creative as as well. Are you sure? And I'm always like, oh, but I'm not that creative. Me, uh, <laughs> but, oh, I think um Lewis has been looking at um LED light panels, so I think uh, look at that wall setup that I leaf. just linked. It's so cool. It's only a hundred sixty nine dollars for like five panels. <laughs> yeah, it probably cost you like uh, like thousands or something. Yeah, but I don't know. Do a mini I one, know. you know. But it's like if you can afford to do this, then <laughs> is this someone's photo or is it like the one of the product photos? Lewis said cringe. Um let me check. This is a pocket lint article, not sure. Yeah, could be like like a stock a... photo. Could have been like yeah. Maybe and they credited Nano Leaf. And it might be photo. like yeah. altered in Lightroom to look <laughs> cooler than it really is. All right. <laughs> <laughs> maybe yeah Actually, I don't know if you but I have a friend who mm-hmm. I have a friend who did a video on like uh, how to set up your uh, you know uh, lighting to have better zoom background and stuff and mm-hmm. he recommends getting an LED thing but all he does is he puts a um, like a what do you call it like a, almost like a fluorescent light it's like a long tube and then, like, oh, like, you, know, like, you can like, customize uh, it to whatever color you want. Like Dave 2D. I used to have like that. Yeah. Oh. He said you know, that Ikea... he's a brown person, so he has to make the lighting in the background not brown, or else it's very <laughs> sad. <laughs> I'm doing a poor job. I'm, like, wearing dark. I'm blending with my curtains. <laughs> I know. We need to light up our... We need to level up our video game, according to Salman's tips. I think out of this, like you probably have the nicest looking image right now. Sing oh, one look but weird. But you can see with the, the lighting is not blur. good, right? Like Yeah, sure. It's too and then like the this is very uninspiring. This like TV Yeah, you should put something on the TV. Yeah, this yeah. part is nice. <laughs> oh, they get, they get oh, copyright. I have literally not even turned it on since I got here. So. <laughs> no, you just put a picture of like something. You don't play. Yeah, play actually, I see that it's on the Bluetooth, so I can technically connect. It's a smart TV of some kind. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. I just like I'm so not a TV person. I don't even notice it. I'm like, ah, oh, it's there. <laughs> I guess. Just put evening drama yeah. text. Yeah. Well, how about this? Like, yeah, for the next few episodes, what do we we upgrade our lighting game with <laughs> LEDs? I guess so. I mean, wouldn't that be neat? I think I just have to tweak the lighting in my room, like make it brighter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because right now, like my room is actually quite dim. If I turn off, you see my front light. Your ring light. Yeah, you you don't see me at all. But... Yeah, no. <laughs> I have the same problem where my home background is very uninspiring. And you can see that like a lot of people put bookshelves and, and like shit like that. Mm. 
Yeah. And there is something. I feel like, you know, I can use virtual background, like, but yeah. there is something about, like, the... It doesn't feel genuine. Almost like you have something to hide when you use a virtual background. <laughs> oh, right. like, when background, it feels more, like, personable. Mm -hmm. Actually, I wouldn't have thought about that yeah. until you mentioned it. Mm -hmm. That's true. But also, like, yeah. I mean, the way, like, the chroma keying works, it looks very unnatural. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you guys have seen my misadventures in green screens. <laughs> 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 so, I don't know. Let me think more about it. Actually, I need, I need to watch um, Salman's video myself and see how I can upgrade my lighting game. But I, now I'm very tempted by the LED panels, even though they're so expensive. I'm like, if only I have hung those panels up, then I would surely be a cool person. <laughs> you need a whole wall. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> to make up for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, All right, should we? Yeah, we've crossed the hour mark. I guess we can plug our sponsors. Yeah. I'm going to plug myself first this time. Honey Ritual is on a Black Friday slash Cyber Monday slash holiday season sale. So if you look for us on Amazon and also on uh, Shopify, we have a 20% off right now. And it should be pretty intuitive how you get it. But I'm going to copy and paste the Amazon link here for George to share. Because <laughs> sometimes it's really hard for, to us, to, for you to actually find us on Amazon. Because our search ranking is, so, is not good enough. Get good. But I know. Uh, and I'm, now I'm running sponsored ads. On where? I'm learning ad targeting. On Amazon. So don't click on our ads, okay? It costs me money every time you click on an ad, okay? The ad is not for you. The ad <laughs> is for people who don't know what Honey Ritual is. <laughs> Do not click on the ad. <laughs> I've been telling all my friends this. <laughs> I don't even see um, ads though, like, because of ad block. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, does it block spawn native ads from Amazon though? Because in... it's like sponsored ads and also the recommended products. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I rarely browse Amazon itself, but mm -hmm. like it'll block ads everywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, uh, Google. Then, um, also. It'll block the top mm -hmm. results that are ads from Google. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that, that looks like Google ads. These are like native amazon ads that pop up when people are searching for tea so it's really it's really specific okay so and that's I'm learning I how to like that's not really an ad right it's just uh pushing the yeah. result forward um very highly relevant ads yeah but the the, the problem <laughs> this is an aside the thing is right now i'm running auto targeting and manual targeting and the ad system works like an auction Mm -hmm. So I'm like bidding like for, yeah. for a spot on on like um the page right but like my manual targeting is doing so poorly it's not even showing up. So the good thing about like Amazon ads is that it's only pay per click. Yeah. Like impressions are completely free so it's like super worth it. Okay. But like I'm like not bidding high enough for my manual targeting and like I don't know I keep I'm trying to like make the bid percentage change fluctuate higher now. So that it will like be willing to bid higher, but still I'm not even getting showing up. So I'm still learning how to do Amazon ads. And if you happen to know how to optimize Amazon ads, please reach out and mm -hmm. ask and because I need help. Um and then like uh New Wave Coffee, Greg is also running a Black Friday sale too. He's running a bundle with um two times the flow state coffee for 33% off with free shipping. So go check it out. I'm on a site. We're all like trying to get in. I don't see on that. No idea. Twenty three. Are you looking at his site or my site? I'm looking at flow state. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, it's um on the very top. On the very. It says top. shop two x bundle now. Um, uh, hang on. I have to go to the home page, right? I was on the evening drama core yeah, page. page. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see it. Two x the flow for thirty three percent off. Oh, there we go. Black BFCM. Black Friday mm -hmm. 
Coffee Monday? Oh no, it's Cyber Monday. <laughs> Cyber Monday. Oh. <laughs> coffee. Or it could be Coffee Monday. That could be a new branding. Yeah. Yeah. And he's also um, making Curric uh, pots soon. Curric pots? So, they're more common in the in the US. Mm-hmm. It's like a, like a Nespresso, but shitty. Oh, okay. Right. But, it's but cool, more they common make... in the US. They have like a soda pods. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Are they compatible with yeah, Nespresso? Yeah, coming out with that soon. No. No, it's not. They're not mutually compatible. Oh. Yeah. This um, Airbnb I'm seeing at has a Keurig machine, so I've been using it a lot. And I definitely need better coffee options. All right. Yeah. All right. Nice chatting with both of you. Yeah. Have a good Thanksgiving holiday, everyone. Yeah. You were singing a great did coffee you get a Monday. Holiday? Hmm? Uh, yeah, I did. When? I mean, you didn't cause to hang out? It's not holiday for you all, so. Oh, I mean, we, we can always <laughs> see that anyway. Hmm. Yeah. Well, so you're just right. like, no, it's my time to rest and recharge. I don't want to hang out. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks to everyone All for right. tuning we gotta, in. We got to talk about cast iron pans. Bye. Next episode. Right, bye. bye world. <laughs> Take care, guys. Chill.